Here's a quick video on how to do dimensional analysis. It goes along with the chemistry summer work for the MSA students. Um, first things first, dimensional analysis, why is it important? All right, so why do we have to learn this? Well, the, basically we're gonna need to convert between some really odd units in chemistry, and I'm gonna show you this format using some units that you've seen before, just to make it easier. I know you can do this mentally in your head, I know it seems very easy, but again, I'm just trying to teach you how to use dimensional analysis, which is a format. It's kind of like um, showing your work in chemistry. Okay, here's gonna be our first problem. Um, the first thing that you need to know is um, you should have memorized your unit conversions. So the first thing you'll um, see here is it's, it talks about kilometers and it talks about meters. So you guys should know in your head, all right, one kilometer, equals a thousand meters. All right, now we can actually start the dimensional analysis part. So what you do first is you write down what's given, and that's in kilometers, and you put it over one, which doesn't change anything, because you know dividing anything by one keeps it the same. But then you do this, and I know it looks like cross multiplication, but it's not. And we know it's not because that's not an equal sign. Okay, next thing we need to do. We need to get rid of kilometers. Kilometers are here, so we're going to actually put them on the bottom. So we'll put kilometers down here. And the reason for that is you know if you have something on the top and something on the bottom, they cancel out. Same thing's true with units. So these are going to cancel out. Just like if you had six over six, that would cancel out. Okay, but we need to make this equal on the top and the bottom. So we put one kilometer, and we know that one kilometer equals a thousand meters. So that's what goes on the top. And now we cross it out. All right, so now the only unit that's left right now is meters. So we have this guy. All right, so we can actually solve this problem now. Because there's a multiplication sign, what you're actually doing here is you're multiplying across the top. So this would be the same thing. It would be So that on the bottom is exactly the same thing. Since these are just ones, you can just ignore them and then multiply across and you'll get your answer. And then you just check it out for sig figs. Um, we have five sig figs here, so our answer has to have five sig figs. So that's when you use the little line on top of uh, the O there, and that'll count for this zero. And then over, this zero is not significant. And that's how you figure out the first problem. Cool. All right, problem two. Another kind of easy problem using things that you might see in the real world. Um, here we have money, a money conversion. And here's the conversion factor today, and it might be different when you're watching the video, but right now that's what it happens to be. So I do the same thing. All right, I write what's given over one, and then I put down the conversions. Now, for this one, we wanna have dollars on the bottom so that they cancel out. So we do this, and then on the top we have the euro. All right, and again, this is multiplication here, not equals. So it's really um, 32 times 1 euro. And then on the bottom, 1 and... these here, all right? So mathematically, it looks that's exactly the same thing. Let's cancel out our dollars since they're on the top and the bottom. And that leaves us just with euro. All right, when we do the math for this one, we get 29.19. And that's the right number of sig figs, not just because it's sentence. 
you know, there's two decimal place to sends. But um, because we started with four sig figs, so we would end with four sig figs here as well. All right, let's try this one. Now this one's where things get a little bit more complicated. So with this, we actually notice that we have millimeters and kilometers here. Now you, you, might, you definitely did not memorize how many millimeters are in kilometers, but you do know how many millimeters are in one meter. Here you have a thousand. All right, and then um, we also know how to go from, uh, we can put a meter over here, one meter, well actually, let's get rid of that, let's make this kilometers. One kilometer, there's a thousand meters in one kilometer. So here we have two conversion factors, so this one's gonna be twice as long. All right, so first thing we need is our number. Okay, what goes on the bottom? Well, this is what goes on the bottom. This is always what's gonna go down here because you need them to cancel out. So we're gonna put millimeters down here um, and then we're gonna do the only one we have up here with millimeters. So it's gonna be the thousand millimeters, all right? And we're gonna put meters on top because we had that conversion from over there. All right, so now millimeters cancels out. And you can see if we stopped the problem here, we would have meters, not what we're looking for. We're looking for kilometers, so that means we have to keep going. And so now we have meters here, so we're gonna put meters on the bottom. And we're looking for kilometers, so that's gonna go on the top. And then we use our numbers from here. One kilometer, a thousand meters. Meters cancels out again. And now when we do the math, now we'll get the, uh, the answer for this one. Um, for this one, you're still multiplying across the top, getting an answer, and then divide it by 1,000, and then get an answer, and then divide it by 1,000. Really try this with your calculator to make sure that you're putting it in correctly. Your um, answer should be 4.509 kilometers. And again, if you don't get that answer, it's just you're not putting it in the calculator correctly. It should be this number divided by 1,000, and then hit the equal sign, and, or the enter key, whatever you have on your calculator, and then do it again. Then you know, divide it by 1,000, and that'll give you 4.50901. Sig fig wise, um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six sig figs. One, two, three, four, five, six sig figs. Last zero didn't count, um, still does not. All right, okay, pause the video, um, take a minute, try the next problem. All right, I'm gonna put it on the board and I'm gonna go take attendance. Really, pause the video, give it a try. Don't just, don't just wait for me to give you the answer. All right, welcome back. So we're gonna take this number. Uh, we need to do the conversion thing. So we have mil, uh, megameters here in centimeters. We know um, megameter to meter, and one megameter equals a million meters. And then we have centimeters. Um, all right, so we know how to go from meters to centimeters. In this case, uh, one meter equals 100 centimeters. All right, so that's the first thing you should have done is write down what's given. Um, now what you need to do is set up all the work. So we're gonna do 4.00 megameters. We're gonna put one megameter down here. Um, and the reason for that is we wanna go to meters first. All right, so we get this. And we're gonna cancel out the megameters because they're on the top and the bottom. All right, so now we have meters. Meters are gonna go down here. 
Uh, we can now go to centimeters, which is what we're looking for. And one meter equals 100 centimeters. Okay, and the meters will cancel out. And now you just multiply across, and that's going to give us our answer of 400 million. All right, again, calculator, four times a million times 100 will give you this 40 million here. Sig fig wise, all right, let's check out the sig figs. So we started with three sig figs. Um, this only has one sig fig, so we do need to put the line over the zero so that that one is significant. Or you could put it in scientific notation, and it would be 4.00 times 10 to the 8 centimeters. Either are fine. All right, either one's, one's fine. All right. Still confused with this? Um, there's a bunch of good videos on um, YouTube you can find. I'll put them in the, um, the info at the bottom. All right, thanks.